I'm Trent.com here. Today we're taking a look at Baidu Browser for Android. Baidu Browser is a great uh, browser alternative for your Android device. And when you open the application, you will have three sections to browse with. You can see the three little uh, tabs at the bottom. Uh, the first one is your recent section, your history, so you can quickly jump to the things you've browsed in the past. Also, if you swipe to the right, you have uh, the weather in the top left corner, as well as your top sites that you could customize by tapping the plus button, choosing from various sites here. You could also input a URL at the top and customize the weather, uh, your cities and things like that all in one section here. So let's just jump back out and swipe to the right one more time. And this is essentially your newsfeed uh, that will update with the most recent news in sports, uh, the funny category, uh, there's also for there's a category for US and Canada uh, pets music and hot news essentially that's where you'll find your recent stuff um, also to just browse we could enter a URL so for example uh, let's go to Google you could type in Google and that will search for Google we could also uh, search for something like Android apps it would help if we spelt Android correctly. There we go. Android apps. Browse like that. To open up a new tab, simply press the uh, tab button at the top, or rather bottom right, and press the plus button. And that will open up a new page. And if you press the tab uh, button again, you could see the different pages that are open. To close a page, simply tap the X. That will close the page. And to go to the page that, uh, that is already open, simply tap on it and it will open that page. Pretty straightforward. Also, you have the menu button down below. Uh, this will allow you to either enable full screen. You could also disable full screen with the same button. In full screen mode, uh, the search bar and the menu bar will actually appear and disappear depending on uh, the scrolling direction. So if you scroll down, it will disappear. If you scroll back up, it will appear. So from the menu section, you could also visit your downloads, which is basically all the downloaded files that you've previously downloaded. There's also the file manager. Let's go back to downloads and back to the menu. Uh, from here, you could also refresh, quit, uh, change the wallpaper. The night mode is actually very cool. So if you are familiar with Google, you know that everything's on a white background. Uh, if we enable uh, the night mode, it will actually be on the black background, which is very convenient to read uh, in a dark setting with uh, not a lot of light. So it's a lot easier on your eyes. If we find the menu one more time, we could also go to our history and view bookmarks and add bookmarks, things of that nature and also you have the option to read later so that's pretty cool as well so that more or less concludes Baidu browser for Android it's a pretty good browser alternative uh, there are several features that the native browser does not have so I highly recommend you go ahead and check it out on the Google Android Play Store